since I was younger, I've always been into uh, a lot of arts and crafts. I was into uh, Spawn, a lot of comic characters and uh, anime, artistic type styles. That's when I was a, a younger kid in my teenage years, and then I kind of fell off track uh, as time progressed. And I've recently, uh, over the last two years, been into painting. Um, I just decided to pick up a brush and paint. I, it's kind of hard to explain. I, I, I look up to artists like Basquet, and studying him on my own time, I'm self-taught, uh, just drove me in that direction to, you know, want to paint and see what where that can take me, where it can guide me as far as an artist. And uh, so far doing it for a couple of years now, I have seen some uh, pretty great results. Sometimes I give my art away. I feel that uh, giving it away before I sell it is connecting to people in abroad, you know, to remember me as being a great artist, but also give it back to the community that I live in to, you know, enjoy my artwork without having to always put a price on it. But at the same time, art is not cheap. It's uh, <laughs> definitely something you have to, you know, have funds to produce the material to put it all together. You know, it costs money to definitely uphold what I'm trying to do. So every now and then, depending on how the piece is or how big it is, I would definitely, you know, sell it. But, uh, you know, I tried to stray away from that and rather give so that person can enjoy that art and remember it as not just being a great piece, but the artist gave it away to them just for them to have something to remember me by. So I try to go into my artwork with an open mind. As far as, like, if I'm down or feeling negative, I think it would translate in my artwork. And now if I'm going for a certain theme or a specific look, that may be good, but most of the time my art is colorful, it's vibrant, you know, it's a lot of lines, it's just a lot of flow to it that I'm just in a neutral mood or in a good mood. It's My art is definitely a stress reliever as well to work on a piece. It definitely brings a lot of relaxation to myself and a lot of concentration and focus has to go into my work. So it's more of a stress reliever than uh, me, you know, being down and negative into my art or, you know, feeling depressed, I, I think would translate in ways that I don't want to. But, you know, if I'm going for a certain look, sometimes a bad day may be good for my art. Uh, I know it's definitely a process, working, uh, painting, going to school, and trying to balance all this out. But it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth the effort and the time uh, put into my schoolwork, put into uh, working, and put put into my painting that it will end up uh, paying off very, very, uh, very good, you know. So I, I know it's a journey, but I'm in, I'm in it for the long haul. So I would definitely identify uh, a lot of my artwork being abstract. Some of it would be uh, on, along the terms of primitive folklore, uh, sword reel, as you stated as well. Uh, it's definitely something that the style that I currently have. I don't really see too many artists doing it, so I, I want to stick with it and perfect it. You know, it, it's one thing to be good at it, but to lock it down as something that you created because I have certain ways of doing my art. I do a lot of research as well just to make sure I'm not mimicking or going along the same terms of other artists out there. I know we all want an identity of our own, but there's so much that a person could create without it just being done previously in the past. So uh, I definitely have a style I'm sticking with, and I, I think it's going to uh, take me take me a long way, open eyes up into um, you know a different type of artist, a young artist. It may take you know a lot of artists years and years to you know hone their craft, but uh, I'm at a certain age where time is somewhat on my side, and so. Sticking with a style that I know and I feel comfortable with is good. At the same time, I do want to step out the box and, uh, you know, experience different ways of art, different ways of painting. But uh, right now what I'm doing is really, uh, really something that I want to just continue throughout my career, and it's really different. I don't see too many people doing my artwork or the way I produce it as well. So, yeah. Balancing out two uh, part-time jobs, which equate to a full-time, going to school full-time, and I consider my painting as a full-time thing. I don't try to go 
uh, two days in between a painting. Hopefully I try to go at least every day uh, with the painting. Practice makes perfect. So, I'm yeah, balancing out, you know, life as a, an adult and responsibilities, uh, having to do two jobs, go to school, and doing my painting. A lot of people would say that uh, may make you exhausted, but at the same time, it, it's worth it. It's, it's definitely worth it and responsibilities, responsibilities on myself. I don't know where I would be at right now. Uh, a couple, two, three years ago from now, I would, if I didn't make the decision to step out the box and come to, you know, Niagara Falls, New York, only knowing my mom and my sisters really pretty much started all the way over. Not, uh, you know, all my friends are back in Houston. I have, you know, family in Philadelphia and around, but no one really in Niagara Falls, New York. So it was, uh, without me making that transition and taking that step, I don't know if I would be painting now. So it's, uh, it's definitely a good thing that I did, really good. First, it was just me painting and just uploading my paintings for my friends to see all around, and then I started to see that it may be able to guide me towards a, a different direction as far as you know exposing, uh, you know, my community to a, a, a painter that came from nothing, learned it from nothing, and now it's going to take it, you know, take me somewhere. So put my hard work out there. The only way I'm going to get more exposure is to, you know, step out that comfort zone and, you know, go to, you know, different websites, different people to, that enjoy my art and want me to, you know, share it with the world. So it's, it's, I'm looking at it more beyond myself and something that I can really, you know, bring forward the places that I lived at and people I've known to show them that anything is possible with hard work and dedication. I look up to uh, Mark Rutko and uh, Jean-Michel Basquet. Uh, both of these artists, uh, uh, they're deceased, but uh, what they left behind as far as history and uh, developing and pushing artists in different directions is something incredible. I learned about Jean-Michel Basquet on my own. Uh, I, I go to the library all the time. I somewhat live there, like a second home. And I uh, just came across a documentary about him and just got more infatuated and wanted to know about his art and what drove him to pursue, be, you know, becoming a great artist. Uh, Mark Rutko, very, very, very great artist that uh, inspires me in so many different ways on how I view art and how I take it in and how I try to project it to the outside world as far as wanting people to connect to my work and Instead of just saying it's great, having a feeling to it, and uh, he's one of the great, the all-time greats uh, as far as his direction and his style of art. That is correct. It will uh, usually takes a couple hours to do a painting, but as far as the idea and the progress, that, that's definitely uh, something I do day by day. It starts with what I want to say as far as the message and how I want it to be seen, how I want it to, you know, sh show to the world and the audience on what I'm trying to say without words. It, you know, it's painting and getting the message across with colors and a brush. I, I say the brush is my guide, but painting is a story. That's something I live by. So it, it's definitely a process. Uh, there's definitely a lot of things going on as far as uh, in our nation and uh, in the world uh, just all together, a lot of different changes coming about. And I, you know, pick up from different things all around the world and try to translate it into, you know, what we can see, you know. So it, it, a central theme, it, it all depends on if I'm trying to do a series of uh, continuous paintings with the same element. But as far as just an overall, it's definitely uh, different things going on uh, depending on, you know, the circumstances of what's going on in our country and what's going on, you know, worldwide. So, yeah. I definitely like to put emotion in all of my work. Uh, without putting that emotion into my work, it definitely seems like there's a, a, there's a disconnect. How can I expect people to connect with my art if I'm not connecting myself? So I definitely try to put as much emotion into my work so hopefully that it, you know, it's seen. It's it's definitely there for people to pick up without having to explain too much unless, you know, it's necessary. Yeah, that was really nice. Uh, 
yeah, the, the Picasso message. Definitely feel that connect right there. I, I've always been into poetry. I'm definitely a fan of T.S. Eliot. Uh, there's a, a few others. I can't really think off the top of my head, but I've definitely been into poetry uh, ever since I was a kid. I used to write poetry myself. I would say right around my puppy love years. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I de- poetry is definitely something beautiful to connect with words and give somebody, uh, you know, images just by them speaking, and you can envision what they're trying to get across. Poetry is another language, uh, and it's it's beautiful, definitely, you know, beautiful. I'm possibly going to try to combine some of my old poetry with some of my new style of painting that I'm trying to go for. Uh, As as far as a book, uh, you know, a poetry painting book, something of that nature. But, yeah, poetry definitely is something as far as, you know, people and emotion, it can connect to them and open up a whole bunch of different things, like, from a different perspective. And sometimes a message can get across instantly, or sometimes you may just have to go over and over and again. But the poet, you know, to be able to connect with somebody that they don't know is something beautiful. So I definitely want to, you know, attach poetry to some of my painting to further, you know, connect to my audience and people that enjoy my work. Heaven is in there. I need to get in there. Even in the morning time, I want to employ all the things I have learned to groove your precious soul and maybe for a little while I will find some peace of mind all that you send my way